Good afternoon everyone. It's been a few weeks since I've done a video. I've gotten a little out of practice so we're gonna have to get back in the swing of things. I have been very very busy. I had a friend from out of town for a week and a half, well nine days, that I haven't seen in gosh over 12 years or so. So we were having a really good time and we did some art and shopping and talking and stuff like that. But there was no time for video making and taxes are going on so that's keeping me a little bit occupied but I wanted to take a little time today catch up with you guys say hey because I have missed you and um, go over a few things with you and then I'm going to work on a project and it's probably going to be a couple of parts um, because if I do it all in one part it'll be too uh, the video will be way too long but what you see in front of you right now we'll go over this first there's a few things I want to talk to you about. First, I owe you a dog video. I want to share Buster and Bailey with you. Um, some people have shown an interest in the dogs, so I thought I would do that, but that's a little difficult, so I have to catch them on the right day, catch the right lighting and all that stuff outside or downstairs. Um, the other thing is I owe you a room tour video, and that will come soon. My room's pretty clean, pretty Oh boy, you should have seen it a few days ago. <laughs> it's pretty clean, but um, it needs to be, I don't know, cleaned up a little bit more before I do an actual video. And it's I've got projects laying out, and you know it's hard to do that with projects laying all around. So I haven't forgot about that. Some of you expressed an interest in that. The other thing is I have not forgotten about the 100 subscriber giveaway. I am still going to do that, and we are, I think, now at 140. So welcome to you that have just subscribed to me. I'm glad that you're here and I hope you enjoy the videos. So I have not forgotten about that giveaway. We are gonna be doing that over the next few weeks. I've gotta get taxes out of the way and um, a few other things out of the way. So once that's done, we'll get to the subscriber giveaway, the 100 subscriber giveaway. <clears throat> um, this in front of you is the last video that I posted, the 15, uh, that's not a 15 minute, it's a time-lapse video and it's of me painting this girl and I think she turned out really cute but I wanted to share with you what happened before I filmed this girl I started out filming trying to create a girl and I struggle with girls faces I I need to practice I've actually got a class lined up that I want to take just to help me learn a little bit about shading and stuff like that but um, it's not my strong suit <laughs> but sometimes I get lucky I think I got lucky with her but um, when I first sat down to create the girl, I started out and this is not what I wound up with. I even quit in the middle of it because I just hated her so bad. And I don't I don't hate her. She's just not what I was aiming for and she's just not cute. She's rather ugly. But this is what I started out with. <laughs> oh, isn't she pitiful? <laughs> oh boy. I uh, only thing I can say is I had fun with the process, like I say, it's about the process, the journey, it's about that, not the outcome. But you want a good outcome, you always strive for that. But this is what I started out with. And within, I guess the whole process of both these girls took about an hour and a half to two hours. This is what I started out with. And I was so frustrated with what I was getting and I was not happy. I started over and the second try, this is what I got. So. This came from the same person within an hour to an hour and a half of each other on the same day. If it's possible to believe, believe it, <laughs> because that's what happened. I just don't know how that happens, to be honest with you. I mean, it just happens. I don't seem to create the same thing twice in this kind of thing, unless I'm trying to. Maybe I can do it if I'm trying, but I just thought I'd share with you. This is what I started out with. This is what I ended up with. And if you try and you keep at it and you work through it, you can overcome whatever is the problem and you can do a better job. So keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. So I hope that inspires you, okay? So that's that. The other thing is I've worked on another one of those pages that I shared with you earlier where um, you take a sheet of scrapbook paper and you cover it with, well, I didn't take scrapbook paper. I took a blank I took a paper I didn't like. I took an ugly piece of paper. I covered it with other scrapbook papers and then I used stamps and um, paint and my ruler and things like that. 
So that's what I'm, I've got in the works. I'm doing a bunch of these because I'm going to put girls on them. And I can kind of see the shape of a girl's head here and her shoulders. So I may go with that. Um, this piece right here, if you remember, if you saw, uh, the coloring is different now because I've painted over it. But if you saw the giveaway video where I made the ATC cards, this is part of the final card. When I cut the cards into sections, this is part of the section that was left. This one piece right here. So that was fun. I think you should try something like that. And one of these days I will do one of these on video and show you what I do. It's really simple. The other thing is I entered a giveaway with the little yellow couch. I think it's a little yellow couch. Let's pull out the papers. Yes, little yellow couch. And it was for a book that is made by um, Jacob Dethridge, Ex Libris Anonymous. He takes old books and he tears them apart and then he puts them back together using the covers and using some of the pages from the book and inserts blank pages for you to use as a journal. And I, they were giving four away. I entered and I won one. I was really happy. So, And I finally got my book. This is my book, um, Bees and Clover. And this one says someone's name in 1973, but the book, I believe, is older than that. It's just when those people got a hold of the book. Um, but they put the old pages back in and then put blank pages in. Or he. He does. It's really cute. It's a really cute book. So if you want to check him out and find out what he does, um, Jacob at bookjournals.com is where you can find him and the person who's, who hosted the giveaway, the persons, are these ladies here from the Yellow Couch and they are, I guess, what is their URL, littleyellowcouch.com so you can find them there, okay? So I thought I'd share that with you just to let you know they're out there and they even they sent this little pouch. This is what the their business card and the little note came in, a little pouch like this. And this is really cute, so I can use that in something sometime. So there's that. The last thing I'm going to share before I actually get started on the, the project is this book I picked up at the uh, bookstore the other day. I don't go to the bookstore very often, but I did with my friend. And this is a daily, creative, a daily creativity journal, 365. Make something every day and change your life. Well, I'm all about changing my life and doing things that are good for me. This particular person chose to do skulls, which is really cool. Look at this picture. The two people. There's some tassels and the curtains, but it's the shape of a skull. It, it's kind of cool. Anyway, every page is full of prompts that you can do every day to create something. And they gear theirs more toward, um, I guess, physical things that you hold. I'm going to apply it to mixed media and painting and paper and stuff like that in some way. And I probably won't film every single one of these, although it would be a big challenge for me to film 365 videos doing this every single day. But I'm not one of these people that's able to sit down every day and do the same thing like this. I'm lucky if I get a few days, but what I can do is just work through it until I get done. Um, and, it, you know, I don't know how long it'll take, but I may film some videos doing that. I don't know. We'll see. It'd be kind of fun. Oh, and this little guy, he was just left on the table. He's a work in progress. Just ignore him for now. Okay. Oh, and there's one more thing. When my friend was here, I created some art. Um, I did a tip-in, like you've seen me do before. This was my tip-in. It's one of those, um, and if you don't know what a tip-in is, if you're just now tuning in let me find one it's one of these that comes in a magazine you know the little things that fall out all over your bathroom floor um it's now this so and i thought that turned out real pretty the other thing i created and i didn't finish everything we started we started a journal together but we didn't get finished i may share that with y'all one day too uh, the other thing i finished was this canvas oh i could put everything away um, it's done on an 8x8 eight eight canvas, open back canvas, and it's just painted, papers glued down or Mod Podge down, just the underside, not the top part. Um, and then a little bit of tissue paper and some distressing and the jute for the stems. 
the skeleton leaves, some flowers that were in my stash. I went out in the yard and got a um, branch to use for my little bird and my bird clips on. And the bird came from, I think, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, something like that, a long time ago. So that's one of the things I created. I'll be hanging that somewhere, I don't know, I haven't decided. Maybe in my bathroom downstairs, it probably would fit in there really well. But anyway, that's the other thing. So, on to the project for today. Today's project is, I'm going to go back to what I originally said I was going to be doing a few weeks ago, where I'm going to take this Maya Young journal and it is a 8 by 8 page journal it comes in this little package and it looks like this let me pull all this stuff off it looks like this you open it it's got the 8 by 8 pages in it so these pages are bigger than 8 by 8 but you know these pages are 8 by 8 and i was going to use it for um refinder creating those pages like I just shared with you. This is a different one. It fits on this page here. The one I just showed you is bigger, but this one is actually six by six and it'll fit. And that's what this book's going to be full of. So um, I'm going to, for this video, I'm going to decorate the outside and the inside. The inside's probably just going to be painted, maybe a little bit of um, stamping or something on it. And the outside is going to be all this stuff here. Some of this stuff, not all of it, most of it though. Um, I'll probably fast forward that part. I don't think I want to talk through the whole video and explain everything because most of you who are watching actually know how to do this and by watching the fast forward you probably can figure out how to do it anyway. It's just cutting to size and gluing. It's not perfection. It's not a lot of good measuring. It's just me fitting it to the best way that I can with eyeballing it because I don't want to take time to measure a lot. I did measure a little bit but not much. Um, and I will um, explain a little bit after I finish the fast forward part. If there's anything that needs to be explained, I'll try to explain it. And if you have questions, just ask the questions and I will answer them the best I can. And then I'll show you the finished project. But it's probably going to be part one and part two, maybe part three, because I'm not going to do all these pages in one day. It's going to take some time to do those. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to tell you about before I actually go into fast forward mode. So. I hope you enjoy what you see, and if I have anything to say, I'll stop the video and I will speak to y'all. Otherwise, I will see you at the end of the video with the, as much of the project as I can finish today, and we'll um, go from there, okay? I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week, and that you all are creating and making things and changing your lives. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. We'll go into fast mode forward.
Okay, so so far we have gessoed the inside of the book and painted the color we want to paint. And I can't tell you the color of this. I can't find it on the bottle. Well, it's up here, but is it? It's covered with paint, though. <laughs> Light green, I think it's called. It's just a cheapy craft mart paint. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling and flower stencils in here. And then maybe, I don't know, I haven't decided if I want to cover it in here with paper or not. I'm, I want to keep it simple, so we're just going to go with this for now. And then we're going to start on the outside of the book and um, see what we come up with. Okay, so let's go back to fast forward. Hope you're still with me.
Okay, we are done with the inside for now. I'm going to keep it really simple. I hope the colors are showing up right on the camera because here, me looking at it, it's, um, they're not bright colors, which is what I was going for. But when I look up at the camera up there, they look bright. And I, it may be the lighting. It's, it's snowy today and overcast and gosh, it looks like a blizzard outside right now. Um, and I've got two lights shining directly on the project, so I don't know if it's too much light, not enough light, I don't know. Anyway, it's very subtle, and I don't want it to compete with anything, so I may I may even come back later and do something to kind of cover this center section, section up and just leave the outside of this. I don't know. Um, that'll be a decision for later. For now, we are going to go to the outside, and I'm not going to gesso the outside. Um, once I get through with the outside, I'm probably going to come in with some Distress Ink and put that on the edges, but for now, we're just going to start with what we have, okay? So let's go!
Okay, this is the end of part one. I'm not going to do the tag right now. We will do that at a later time. Um, I'm letting this dry so it stays on. But let me shut this light off and see if maybe the light's better in here for this. I don't think so, but anyway. That's all I'm going to do for the book right now. Um, at, a, at another video, we will do the inside pieces, which I'll probably cover with paper. Um, very subtle paper so that it doesn't compete with what I want to put on the page. Or I may paint them. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside yet. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this or not. It looks very dark in the video. Very bright, but it's not. It's They're, they're very dull colors. Um, very pretty actually. And the back is very plain. This might give me a problem. We'll see. We're going to set it out like this so that it can dry. Okay. So, that's the end of part one. I'll be back with part two on another day. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on what the day looks like. And uh, we'll decorate the tag. And we'll decorate the inside pages. Then we'll get started on the pages that go inside, which will be similar to this. And that's the video where you'll see how I do that one I showed you. Let's see. I said I'd show you how to do this, how I did it. Um, those are the videos you'll see that because I have to make several of these to go on the pages like this. So I have to decide what to do here. This one is too big. It actually fits. Well, it hangs over a little bit, but it's too big. And I could use them like in between, like in between the pages like that. I don't know, maybe I will, we'll see. So I hope you guys have a great week and I hope to see you again soon. And I'm glad that, that you all joined me today and I will talk to you later. Let me turn this light back on one more time. Get my paint sweater in front of me, <laughs> just in case. The light's better. I don't know. I don't know what you see best. It's hard to tell. Okay? I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.